Good morning, Griffins. <laughs> My name's Jose. My name's Mika. And you're watching GNN. GNN. On Friday, November 1st, we have coffee with the principal at 8.30 in the library. Eat, eat coffee with Ms. Wong. Ooh. Eat coffee. Ooh. Eat coffee. On Friday, progress reports are going home. <laughs> college Awareness Wednesday. Wear your college gear as in like UCSD, SDSU, UCLA. If you're, if you're, if you're studious. Friday, November 1st marks the first day of Native American Heritage Month. Woo! 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 On Saturday, there's going to be a Saturday school from 8 to 12. So get your math grades up, little boys. Saturday, November 2nd. On Tuesday, October 29th, marks the first day of our upcoming Spirit Week. And on October 31st, Halloween. You get to wear your costumes, but the costumes have to follow a certain dress code. No weapons, no masks, something inappropriate or offensive. offensive. Be appropriate. Boys and girls, soccer season is starting. And if you're interested, head over to 902 during lunch or after school. Only accepting seventh graders and eighth graders. Now for this week's weather by Nikki and Isaac. On Monday, we will have a low of 59 and a high of 70. Hi guys, so the lowest for Tuesday is going to be 52 and the highest is going to be 65 which makes this Tuesday the coldest day of this week. Oh, my hat. There it is. Got it back. And, and on Wednesday we will have a low of 46 and a high of 69. On Thursday, the lowest is going to be 48, and the highest is going to be 67. And on Friday, it will be the same. And now for the spooky season. <laughs> now it's time for some skits. <laughs> spooky Halloween baking with Claire. And muster roommates with Jocelyn. And literally Paranormica by Leslie. And the ghost skit by Ira. And there's probably another one. Maybe, maybe there's another one. starving right now, even though I'm a mummy and a dead carcass. 
I think we should totally get some takeout and ask Frankenstein if we can get some takeout. Who? I also agree. I think I kind of want to eat Chinese tonight. Who? Are you sure? Who? I'm not really feeling Indian tonight. Okay, whatever. We can discuss this with Frankenstein. Let's let's go. Frankenstein should be around here. Yo, what's up, Frankenstein? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. How is it hanging, Frankenstein? Mm. Mm. Me and Boo were thinking that we should totally get takeout, but he was thinking in and I'm kind of wanting some Chinese. What do you want? Boo! Mm. Mm. Mongolian? Serious? Mm. Seriously? Mm. Mm. I was thinking more like we go to Korean barbecue. Mm. You don't care, seriously? Mm. Can we like split the bill or something? Mm. Bro. Don't try, man. Your bank account is so empty, Lord help me. You don't even work. You both just sit on your butts like couch potatoes on the sofa. I have existed for like 2,000 years, and I have worked way more than you guys. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll, go, to, we'll go to Korean barbecue, and I will pay full. stories. <laughs> a doctor was working at a hospital, a hospital where the patients were tied with colored bands, green to alive, red to deceased. One night, the doctor was instructed to get a few supplies from the basement of the hospital, and so he headed to the lift. The lift doors opened, and there was a patient inside, minding her own business. Patients were allowed to roam around the hospital to stretch. That's why she knows how stayed long. The role was to be back in the room before 10. The doctor smelt the patient before pressing a number for the basement. He found it unusual that the woman didn't have a button already pressed. He wondered if she was headed to the basement too. The lift finally reached the floor and the door was open. In the distance, a man was limping towards the elevator. And in a panic, the doctor slammed the elevator button to close. It finally did, and the lift began to descend back up the doctor's heart pounding. Why did you do that? He was trying to use the lift, the woman stated, annoyed. Did you see his wrist? The doctor asked. It was red. He died last night. I would know because I did the surgery. The woman lifted her wrist. She saw red. She smiled. Like this one? Walk. Yeah.
Now for some random facts. Like, the world's heaviest jackal lantern weighed in at 2,684 pounds, or two ounces. The pumpkin made its debut at the Ludensburg Pumpkin Festival in Baden-Württemberg, Germany, on November 6, 2021. And it wasn't your average jack-o'-lantern either. It was etched with a face and other decoration, <laughs> including stars and heraldic scenery. <laughs> That's it for today, Griffins. My name is Jose. My name is Mika. Remember to be kind, responsible, and the best you can be, because the choices you make each and every day will be yours. Let's make it the Griffin way.